King Barrel has upended the lives of those living in Southeast Texas. Most are without power, while some have nowhere to go. I'm Paris Flanagan, reporting in Lafayette Parish, and the American Red Cross has deployed hundreds of volunteers from Louisiana, and some of them are from right here in Acadiana. Hurricane Barrel slammed through the southeastern coast of Texas early Monday evening as a Category 1 hurricane, but the aftermath tells a different story. Flash flooding and heavy debris crashing through homes are responsible for several deaths so far. Millions are without power, but in a swift response, the American Red Cross has deployed hundreds of volunteers. Lena Arenas from Bossier Parish is one of them. So I 100% relate. I understand the fear and the urgency that we have when it comes to the unknown of a hurricane and how bad it's going hit, to hit the community. Originally from Florida, she's no stranger to the deadly storms. 2004 was when Charlie, Ivan, and all those hurricanes hit at once. Um, so I understand what it's like to not knowing, right? Like even as a little kid, seeing your parents try to prepare for a hurricane preparedness. It was very scary for me. Arenas and her team have been on the ground since Friday, helping those in Galveston and Houston area. Once it was safe for us to respond, um, today we have mobilized more than 400 volunteers to the Houston and Galveston area. Uh, with about 30 emergency response vehicles ready to help the community. Arena says the American Red Cross has eight shelters in place, cooling and charging stations. They also have communication assistance to help those locating missing loved ones. Another team from Acadia Parish is also on the ground providing hot meals. If people need disaster mental health services or disaster spiritual care or even financial assistance, that they know that they're able to call the Red Cross and we are going to be able to hold hands with them and say, hey, it's going to be okay and we're going to be able to get through this together. A spokesperson from the American Red Cross tells me that teams will stay in Texas until further notice. More teams, however, will be deployed from Lafayette starting tomorrow, Wednesday morning. Reporting in Lafayette, I'm Paris Flanagan, KTC TV3.